Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to install Android Studio 3.3 on Mac OS. So to start, we'll go to Google and search for Download Android Studio. We want to look at the result that says developer.android.com slash studio. On that page, you'll see a button to download Android Studio, and we'll see that it's showing 3.3 for Mac. We want to accept the terms and conditions and then go ahead and hit download. And then that'll start the download process. Once that's downloaded, we can double click the DMG and then we'll drag the Android Studio icon into the applications folder to start the install process. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and open up the program and start configuring Android Studio. It'll pull up the Android Studio Setup Wizard. In this case, I want to do a custom install so I can modify a few of the settings. To start off, I want to choose the dark theme, which is just my personal preference. On the next screen, I want to make sure I'm downloading an SDK, the Intel Haxim update, as well as a virtual device. We'll go ahead and use the default settings for the emulator, which is to use two gigabytes of RAM. And then we'll go ahead and hit finish. And this will start the download of all the components. Now you might be prompted for your password at some point during the install. Go ahead and enter it and hit OK and let the install continue. Once that's done, go ahead and hit finish and you'll be presented with the welcome dialog. In this case, we'll start a new project and we can see the new create project wizard. We have options for phone, wear, auto, Android things. We're going to go ahead and start by creating a basic activity. We'll name it hello world. We're going to update the minimum API level to 21 in this case. And then we'll go ahead and select use Android X artifacts just so that we don't have to migrate later. After that, we can hit finish and it'll create our new project for us. Now it'll do a little bit of syncing. So hold tight while all of that stuff is updating. Once it's finished, your project will now be responsive and ready to go. And I recommend reading the What's New panel on the right-hand side of the screen. This will show you all the new features in Android Studio 3.3, which was a pretty big release. So this can help you understand what is available and what new features to take a look at. And with that, you're ready to go and develop Android apps with Android Studio 3.3.